the landing day, uh, almost now a full year ago, was very emotional for me, uh, and in an un unexpectedly as well. Um, I think in the days leading up to the landing, I was kind of numb. Uh, there's just so much anxiety associated with it that I just compartmentalized it and just carried on towards February 18th. Um, but and, and I was just as nervous, I think, as everyone else, maybe more so, knowing what what was riding on a successful landing, both for, for NASA and for Mars exploration, but also for me personally. Um, you know, was I going to have a job the next day <laughs> to come into? Touch on confirmed. Yeah. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. When we, when I heard about the successful landing, and I was at home with my family and my young kids, which was actually really nice to be able to share that moment with them, and I thought, okay, now it really begins for us. And um, the public often engages for the big events like the the launch of of rovers or the landing of rovers, but for those of us on the science and operation teams, landings are really when the work begins for us. And so we had this moment of celebration, but then we had a couple of hours. And then we had to begin uh, operations and, and telling the rover how to prepare itself and, and to do its work on the surface of Mars. Year one was focusing on exploring the crater floor. And uh, we spent quite a, a, a period of time um, finding different regions um, within the crater floor and even um, going and using our helicopter as a scout um, to preview um, some of the areas that we may want to explore further. Uh, and, and that's been really exciting and it's been really successful. Uh, year two um, will now be focusing on a new region, more of the Delta. And uh, coming up here um, as we close on our first year, we will en embark on a campaign where we will just pedal to the metal, essentially drive uh, to this Delta location.